everybody uh, I'm back again to another video and today I'm gonna showcase to you my, my Shadow Knight mech so firstly my Shadow Knight mech is really functional my key is like like this one not not too tall or not too. he's actually taller than my where is it and this is my water bottle uh, it's kind of taller as you can see my water bottle is a bit a kind of small now so this mech is actually really tall and also it has a function in here see this thing goes like that these are not these are like more like cannons on his back you can lay that again okay so this mech uh can can not usually spin his body but uh, have to use a lot of force like this one like it's really it's really stiff when you it like it's really stiff that's why it sometimes it breaks so we got it right there and there okay so this mech uh only has this one uh, firstly I'm just gonna get one more thing he's just like standing out there okay so back uh, in here his arms like functional both see this arm this left arm uh, you can see this one here this one then his fingers here and like this uh, there and this let me come and change the position of the thumb. You can also do it like this. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, so now I need to come down position. Ah, uh, oh, it just like fell over. No. But it's okay. Uh, I just have to fix this thing. But, but fun fact, this thing is really hard to fix. Like really hard so said really hard ah. ah the pieces are falling now so I just have to remove those arms okay so okay so the arm is now there it's like uh yes so his arm is like there now now I'm gonna Connect the lower torso there. Okay, so now it's connected to the lower torso, and his head is very sensitive. So we can actually put him like that. Then you that. And this is this is why because you just have to remove that. It's because when you remove his head there, you can see some bionicle parts. Uh, it's more than like. And you press it there, the bionicle part lock over there now. It only leads to his moving around like this mm -hmm. and moving around like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back again because I just I just removed the part there. So it's like that. The part is kind of loose. So now there we go. We'll just have back again. Now this one is. You might be wondering on what is this? This thing is basically a armored fist. That's why he has this one and this. See, you can see it's an armored fist. With this shield, this electric shocker thing. So when this one shocks you, this one is like a wiring, but. This is like a chain for like the electricity, like, yeah, I know. This is just like an armor for the arm. He's like, yeah, I'm getting it. So, yes, he's just facing that. So he's actually really shiny and just using this flashlight, yellow. I'm gonna point to the camera. Okay, so when he actually looks like that, he actually like yes the reflectors of the light like it's also really wobbly and also I put some more details 
on the legs and this chain this one is in the lego chain i put it there and also um this chain thing here and it's also for design first we just got that one here uh and there okay so i'm just gonna put it there and look how it happens it's just like there it's supposed to be limited up to here but it's okay I'm just gonna remove it Ah, huh. huh. his body survived. I didn't know that. Okay, so his back is kind of it's kind of heavy because of these things. But the back doesn't have much more detail. Just the gears. They're typically thick. Those those gears are just, those gears are really thick. Uh, yes, the arm has a detail on its back. And especially the front has the most details because I only used to go to the front. And also, I forgot to mention that that's this one here like those locks or things here. And those locks or things are it's, it's really hot here. So, those things there, uh, it's like the lock here whenever, like. So it moves whenever the feet moves up there, but it goes down manually, but you have to put it down manually because it's not automatic, it's not, the joint there isn't loose. So yes, the feet can also spin like there, that's why I can put it there, uh, like this one standing like there. Now he can stand, ah, he's like falling down. Uh, there we go. It's kind of not stable at all in any soft surface, but if you use a hard surface, um, it can stand. Like this one can actually not really spin its neck like here. I still have to put it down. Then now you have to put it back. Ah! Yeah, okay, so there we go. So when we put it there again, ah, what happened here? Okay, so when we put it there again, we have to put it like there to, as to estimate the head. Yes, so we don't need this lower tosser anymore, but yes, we still need it because it's for the design. This mech couldn't even hover. Okay, so... There's no much detail now anymore, but I wanted to show you this one. These joints can actually move, so I'm just gonna switch it to the back. Uh, so here you can see the back here with those cannon ears. Uh, let me remove the flashlight from it. Oh, no. okay, so there we go. Uh, these joints can actually make it there, like you can. Adjust it whenever you want, uh, and also this is my custom mech. It's really whole. It took me like more than two hours to make this. Like this is like really hard. Too hard to make. Uh, yes, the there's too much detail on the front, but there's only a least detail on the back. So yes guys, uh, they, uh, that's it for today's video, I uh, hope I see you next time, goodbye, and remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell, okay bye bye, see you next time.